Hi guys, this is a video on turning Mozilla Thunderbird into a PIM, a Personal Information Manager, much similar to Microsoft Outlook. Now this is useful for those of you who are starting university soon or those of you who have already started school or college because it allows you to keep dates of things like coursework and homework, uh, student accommodation bills or anything like that inside Thunderbird. Now you'll know that Thunderbird is actually an email application as you can see I've got all my emails here, I've shown videos on setting up accounts in Thunderbird it's great, you can download it for free, I'll provide the download link in the description but what this will actually allow you to do is add a calendar and also tasks inside Thunderbird I'll also be showing you how to sync your calendar that you've made inside Thunderbird with Google Calendar so you can then have multiple Thunderbirds on various computers and then beam all the information up to Google Calendar which you can then access at college or school or university and if this is actually blocked as in Google Calendar is actually blocked you have my permission to punch the administrator okay so let's get started it's actually very easy to do if you have heard of something called Sunbird which is the application which allows you to have uh, calendar and tasks you can simply have this installed with an extension for Thunderbird called lightning now you go to tools add-ons install and then find lightning and then install it similarly to how you would do with Firefox so I'm going to restart it's installed and it's now got the functionality so we have now in the bottom left have mail calendar tasks on the right hand side we now have events and tasks which is really useful if you receive an email that says something about an event you can directly add it on the right hand side so it has a big date here it says events coming up as you can see I'm not very busy but I haven't really added anything just yet and the tasks that need to be completed okay so if we go into the calendar I'll give you a quick view of that here we have a small one here we have a big one and also if we go to tasks you can, you can see we just get a nice little list of tasks okay so now we have this installed it's now a PIM now we want to be able to sync it with Google Calendar so there's another extension available for Thunderbird called provider for Google Calendar so I'm going to install that as well as lightning so I'm going to install provider for Google Calendar and then install restart so now we have it and it's ready to go with the calendar so I now want to sync a calendar with Google Calendar now what I'm going to do is go to file new calendar and it asks me on my computer or on the network so I'm going to choose on the network and next then you see here we now have an option for Google Calendar this wouldn't be there if you didn't have this provider so it's now asking for a location this is the point where you go to your Google Calendar and find your location so firstly you need a Google account obviously and you need a calendar so here I have things like work and a payday in college inside my calendar and I'm basically going to go to the settings I'm then going to go to calendars and I'm going to go to my name it seems to have defaulted to this so I'm just going to have it as my name and at the bottom you'll see a private address this also says calendar address now ignore this one because this will be your shared calendar um, you want your private one so what I'm actually going to do is grab the address from the XML button now I'm not going to click this so you guys can see obviously because you'll be able to get to my calendar um, I'm just going to do this myself all I'm going to do is click the button get the address that comes up and then paste it into this and click next so I'm just going to pause that while I do this and I will be back in a second okay so I'll put that in now and it's now asking me to give my new calendar a name so I'm just going to call it Google Calendar and it's saying what colour do you want the entries to be so I'm going to give it a nice blue colour so I'm going to say next it's now asking me for my username and password for my email which I'm now going to type in obviously you won't know because it's in stars click OK, click finish and then BAM inside my calendar I now have all those options that I had inside Google Calendar so it's all done, it's all synced now if you try and add one now chances are you won't be able to have it appear inside Google Calendar now what I'm going to do I'm actually going to pause this again while I get rid of this uh, private address give me a second sorry about that guys uh, right I'm going to add something to Wednesday the 10th randomly and I'm going to see if it appears inside Google Calendar so I'm going to create a new event I'm going to call it Poo Day and then I'm just going to say save and close so 14 o'clock on the 10th is Poo Day I'm going to refresh my Google Calendar and you'll see it's not done anything it's not appeared on the 10th now this is because it's added it inside home and you don't want home to be there if you can delete it which I'm not sure is possible just delete the calendar and click OK and then you'll just have the Google Calendar because the entry you added would have gone into the home and not in Google Calendar so now if I try it, if I go new event 
put it two day quick save and close then if I click reload because that's what I didn't do on the other one you want to click reload to make sure it adds itself into Google Calendar you'll find if you refresh Google Calendar bingo poo day so it's added itself into Google Calendar and as you saw I didn't reload it but you saw the color was different you need to make sure the color is the same as the rest of them because it would add itself to home and then won't sync with Google Calendar so very simple to do um, sorry about that little mistake in the middle but thanks for watching my video this is turning Thunderbird into a PIM very useful for those of you who are starting college soon um, so thanks for watching my video please comment rate subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again.